This year's tree stands over 18 feet tall. You may have heard about this year's White House Christmas tree. But we bet you didn't know these five things about Christmas at the White House. At number one, President Benjamin Harrison brought the first Christmas tree to the White House in 1889. The toys around the tree were for his grandkids. At number two, we the people cannot turn back. President Teddy Roosevelt was a staunch conservationist who opposed the idea of chopping down a tree as a Christmas decoration. But his son Archie did it anyway, decorating a small tree and hiding it in a closet. Roosevelt eventually lifted the ban because he was as cuddly as a teddy bear. At number three, First Lady Jackie Kennedy began the tradition of theming Christmases at the White House. She started in 1961 by decorating the tree with toys, birds and angels, inspired by the Nutcracker Suite. At number four, a chainsaw is a Christmas gift you should never give to a 10-year-old. But in 1977, a South Carolina company did just that, sending Jimmy Carter's daughter, Amy, a chainsaw for Christmas. A White House spokeswoman later clarified, saying, I think Amy might have said train set, not chainsaw. And number five. Barney, you did a really wonderful job this year on the decorations. First Lady Laura Bush started another tradition in 2002. Barney, it's time for Barney Cam. Are you ready for it this year? Sending the first dog through the White House to show off the holiday decor. The Obama's dog, Bo, subsequently kept up the tradition. And that's five things you didn't know about Christmas at the White House.